Hi, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I am going to show you one amazing library which will allow you to make your uh, custom UI component uh, swipeable. And now before we continue with the code, let me first uh, show you what is the end result. So this is the library which uh, we're going to use in this project. It's called uh, Swipe and it's created by a user named uh, Saket. I don't know if I have pronounced that correctly, but anyhow, let's just uh, scroll down below so I can show you this uh, little uh, video of uh, how this component uh, will actually work. So as you can see, this item uh, will be able to uh, swipe on the left and on the right side, okay? And whenever you uh, swipe that item, you will be able to trigger some action. However, this item, when swiped, will not be removed. And down below you can see the example of... Uh, of that library and also the actual dependency which we're going to need for our project. Now uh, here is uh, our uh, Android uh, emulator and now I'm going to show you uh, that uh, in practice as well. So now you can see that here we have just uh, one uh, simple custom UI component which contains uh, one circle and uh, two text elements. Now if I try to swipe this uh, on the right side, there you go, this uh, action on the left side uh, will show up and it will change its uh, background color whenever we reach a certain threshold. Okay, and that same applies with our other action on the right side. So there you go. And whenever we trigger uh, that uh, swipe, our code uh, will be triggered here and we are going to see here just uh, one simple uh, log message. So without further ado, let's uh, open up our project and let me show you how to use it. Uh, okay, so what the first thing uh, which we are going to do here, uh, we are going to add uh, one dependency for this uh, library. So there it is. The link uh, of this library will be available down uh, in the video description, so don't worry. Now let's uh, close that. Let's go to our main activity. And here I have already created uh, one uh, custom UI component which uh, we're going to use to just uh, showcase uh, how this library will actually work. So as you can see for now, here we have one row. Inside that row we have one a box which represents a circle and then we have uh, two text elements, okay? So now as you can see, uh, this uh, custom UI component is not uh, swipeable. And we are going to use that uh, library which I have just uh, shown you to actually make this uh, item swipeable. So to do that, uh, first let's go here in our main activity. And uh, on the top uh, here, I'm going to create uh, two variables. The first variable uh, will be named archive. And here I'm going to call a swipe uh, action function. And uh, here let's uh, pass uh, multiple parameters. So the first parameter here is uh, on a swipe. And here, uh, whenever we swipe uh, that item, I'm going to just uh, log here a simple message. So let's just log here a simple message, for example, uh, archive. Uh, the next parameter here, which I want to specify, uh, will be the icon. So let's uh, here uh, create one uh, icon. So there it is. I'm going to use the painter in this case. So painter resource, and then I'm going to search for uh, drawable.archive. Um, there you go. Uh, here for the content description, I'm going to just write null. Then for the icon uh, tint, uh, I'm going to specify a uh, color uh, white. And also I can add here a uh, one uh, modifier. So padding to be a uh, 16 on uh, each and every side. There you go. Uh, the next parameter here uh, will be the background color of this uh, swipe action. So let's add here a uh, color green, which is the color I have added uh, previously in this uh, project. And uh, that will be all. So now let's create here uh, one more variable. Uh, this time this uh, second variable uh, will be named uh, email and it will contain a different kind of icon. So email icon. And uh, after that, down below, I'm going to call here a swipeable action box. And here we need to pass uh, two parameters. So uh, those are some uh, optional parameters. So now for the first parameter, I'm going to add here a uh, start actions. And then I'm going to here add a list of, and I'm going to specify archive. So this will be our start uh, action. And now inside this uh, swipeable action box, I'm going to uh, put this uh, whole uh, custom UI component, which I have already made. So just paste that right here inside. Okay. Now let's uh, run this application so we can check out. So uh, at this point, we only have uh, one action, and that is archive action, but we haven't included this uh, email action. Don't worry, we are going to include this uh, second variable. Let me just uh, show you how now our item uh, will look like. So if I try to swipe this uh, 
on the right side, uh, then we are going to be able to see this uh, a background or a swipe action named the archive. Okay, so there we go, everything works fine. And if I try to swipe now uh, on the uh, left side, then I'm not going to see any action on the right side. And that is because we haven't specified the end action. Okay, now let's uh, add here uh, one more action. So the second one is the uh, end actions. Let's also specify a list of and let's add this uh, variable. So email. There we go. Now let's run this application one, uh, once again. And now we should be able to see this action on the right side as well. Okay, so now let me just uh, change here the color for this uh, second um, action to be maybe blue. Now let's run this app once again. And now the action on the left uh, will have a background color of green and this one on the right will have a blue background. Now of course uh, this uh, swipe, uh, uh, swipeable action box uh, accepts uh, multiple parameters like a start action, a end action, a modifier, a state, swipe a threshold, a background a unit a swipe threshold and of course our content lambda. So here we can specify uh, one more parameter, for example, a swipe a threshold. And here I can specify maybe, for example, a 50 dp. Now let's uh, try and uh, run our application once again so we can see uh, what this uh, swipe threshold uh, will actually do with our component. So now you cannot see here anything, but let me uh, open up uh, our log. So let me just here uh, rename this uh, second to uh, email. So this uh, swipe action email will print uh, email message. And now let's um, try to observe this uh, same value. Let's run this application and now let's try to swipe this uh, on the right side, for example. So as soon as this um, gray color changes to green and we release this uh, swipe, then this uh, message uh, will be printed. That the same applies with our second uh, swipe action. So as soon as we let go this uh, swipeable item, then this uh, log uh, will be triggered. So now uh, you might be wondering uh, what this uh, swipe threshold uh, actually means. Well, now let me show you. So let's add here uh, 200 dp instead of uh, 50. And now let's run this app once again. Let's observe the locket as well. So there you go. And now if I try to swipe this, uh, for example, on the right side, uh, then you will see that this uh, gray color is not changing. And it's not changing until we reach a swipe a threshold of a 200 dp. And there we go. So now and only now this action uh, will be triggered. There we go. And if we release this uh, swipe uh, before we change the color of this background, uh, then this uh, on swipe lambda will not be triggered. Okay. And that applies the same with our second uh, uh, swipe action. So there we go. We cannot see our action. However, if we swipe uh, all the way until we pass a 200 dp uh, threshold, uh, then and only then we will be able to see this uh, log message. So it's a uh, quite a useful library and you can easily implement this uh, to your application. The only thing that you need to do, uh, you need to create here either one or uh, two different uh, swipe actions, which uh, you are going to include in this uh, swipeable action box. And that uh, box will also contain that uh, custom UI component, uh, which uh, will be swipeable. And now you have seen how easy it is to make your uh, custom UI component uh, swipeable using this amazing library. So uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful. And uh, see you the next one.